It's a growing sustainable industry that has become BC's highest valued agricultural export. Farm-raised salmon is a big hit in restaurants and supermarkets in the U.S. Three out of five fish of the 75,000 tons produced here each year end up on dinner plates in American cities. Canadian customers are in B.C., the West, Toronto and Montreal. It's a tasty delicacy grown in our own backyard along the B.C. coast and it's paying huge dividends to the provincial economy. Salmon farming uh, contributes uh, 1.1 billion dollars uh, into the BC economy, results in about 5,000 jobs, and all of those jobs are in small communities up and down BC's coasts, where there are very few industries providing employment today. Those are permanent jobs in coastal communities paying wages that are 30 percent higher than the medium employment income in BC. They are jobs that support families, small towns, and the province. We have uh, 91 employees here at the plant. Payroll out of this plant this year will be around 5.6 million. So it's, it's, it's a huge number for this part of the region. Marine harvest has been given the okay for a 50% plant expansion. It means more jobs and benefits for the town. You know, that's huge for the North Island, it's huge for Port Hardy because uh, uh, the, uh, the fish farmers do hire locally. 30 possibly local jobs, so maybe you multiply that by two in a town of 4,000 people, and that's a very big bump. Further south on Vancouver Island, the town of Tofino reaps similar benefits from its 20 farms in Clackwatt Sound. They're owned by Cermak and Creative Salmon. Creative six operations are North America's only organic Chinook salmon farms. I feel like the contribution we're making to the economy locally is, is pretty misunderstood. You know, we're a, a, an employer of about 55 people, and that's year-round employment. And in a town that depends heavily on tourism, a year-round job is nothing to sneeze at. It's about $2 million that's coming into the community by the operations of the salmon farms here. 14.8 billion meals are served with farm salmon as the main course each year, close to half a billion of them coming from B.C. Thanks to the salmon farming industry, Hardy Boys, one of Port Hardy's largest businesses, is thriving employing up to 75 workers, most of them First Nations. Using old family recipes, the company smokes and ships over a million pounds of farm salmon to supermarkets across Canada. Since 1994, which we were operating out of a 1,500 square foot facility, we're now in operating out of 24,000 square feet. The amount of employees that we're now actually being able to employ, up to 75, uh, would not be working if it wasn't for the aquaculture industry. Hardy Boys is just a small part of the diverse salmon aquaculture sector that is pumping millions of dollars into the local economy. Together they can add new jobs and prosperity to coastal communities as the popularity of farm salmon as a healthy food choice grows with the world population.